In this video, I'm going to be going over the top five best buy now cards at each position right now in NBA 2K23. My team, if you guys don't know what I mean by a buy now card, is going to be any card under 100,000 MT. So there's tons of cards that are bids that are like three, four, five hundred thousand. Those cards obviously won't be in these top fives because they're considered bids. Any card they'll be in these top fives will be under 100k, considering a buy now price. And there's been tons of cards that have now fallen into the buy now price tag. So, wanted to get you guys an updated top five buy now cards at each position. So, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and centers, uh, centers as well. So, first off, here starting out with the top five best buy now point guard. Also, buy now and buy out is the same thing. Doesn't really matter. Sometimes I say buy out, sometimes I say buy now, but starting part, not starting point guard, but the first point guard here at the number one spot is actually going to be this new or not the new dark matter but a new card that just recently came into the buy now price tag as i'm recording this video on xbox i saw luke up for 100k and there was like seven or eight minutes gone by so he might not be a buy now when you guys are checking the auction house i literally just checked this morning before i recorded this video and i saw one up for a buy now and i also saw one up for a buy now last night so recently just became a buy now might not be a card that always is a buy now but for right now in the game he looks to be a buy now price six foot seven at point guard six foot eight wingspan and luke is still one of the uh, one of the best offensive point guards in the game if not still the best offensive point guard he's so amazing you know with his jump shot the kpj base Rudy Gay upper on very quick timing. He's got great dribble sigs with the tray sigs, and then he's also got that tray fade. So if you guys know how to three hunt and you can three hunt really well, Luka Doncic can still be that overpowered point guard. And I do think he's going to be the best buy now point guard currently in my team. At the number two spot is going to be Amen Thompson. You guys probably know by now, you know, just how good Amen Thompson is. He's in like every single ranking, every single you know team builder he's just like so amazing at point guard for his price he's super cheap only about 20k six foot seven at the point guard position seven foot wingspan and he's just amazing all around i've gone over him like a hundred times so you guys probably know by now you know what a man thompson can do so just amazing at point guard especially for his price tag at the number three spot is going to be anthony black now this card is amazing all around just like a man thompson they're very similar point guards when it comes to the stats the badges the animations are a little bit different. Anthony Black does have great dribble sigs with the D-Row size up in the Curry Escape. I'm still not the biggest fan of this jump shot, the John Stockton base and the Rudy Gay upper on very quick timing. I'm not the biggest fan of that jump shot. It's not terrible of a release, so that's like the one reason why he's going to be a little bit lower on my list just because of that jump shot. But Anthony Black's still going to be the third best by now point guard at the number four spot. A really close card to being better than Anthony Black, I think, is Ron Artest. I mean, if you wanted to put Ron Artest over Anthony Black, I honestly wouldn't disagree. I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna go Ron Artest three and Anthony Black four, just because of Ron Artest jump shot. I think it's a little bit more consistent of a release, you know, with the Marco Fultz base and the Rudy Gay upper. I just like the jump shot a little bit more. Still moves great and is a great defender. I think they're very similar point guards. That one's really a toss up for me, but. I got Ron Artest at three and Anthony Black at four. And then to round out the top five best buy now PGs in the game, I do think is actually going to be Wes Unsell. This card is amazing at point guard. He's got great height, great wingspan, and also a pretty good jump shot as well. And Wes Unsell always gets great animation. So these are going to be my top five best buy now point guards. Now to go on to the top five best buy out shooting guards at the number one and two spot. It's going to be very obvious, and that's going to be Radiant T-Mac. And that's going to be interdimensional Tim Thomas. Tim's about 90k. T Max only about like 75, 80k. And these cards are so amazing for their price at that shooting guard position. And they're still one of the, still some of the best offensive cards in the game. Like T Max, six foot eight at the two, seven foot two wingspan, great all around stats and badges. Still has that knockdown jump shot with the KPJ base, Oscar upper on quick timing. He's got great dribble sigs, great dunk packages. Like he's still like a perfect shooting guard it's kind of crazy that he's that cheap and then also tim thomas amazing for his height six foot ten at shooting guard seven foot two wingspan so another tall shooting guard in the game great all-around stats and badges really good defensive tendencies but the main thing about this card is just how fast he moves in game with these dribble sigs let's see francis size up the tray escape he's got some of the best dribble sigs in my team he's got such a good jump shot he's got the front clutches this card is still one of the best offensive cards on my team. 
so for sure going to be a top five buy now shooting guard at the number three spot i do think it's going to be a sar thompson a really well-rounded card very similar to a man thompson just can play the shooting guard spot and then for number four i do think it's going to be ak i think ak as an all-around card is probably a little bit better than a sar thompson just because of his defense and his ability to play small forward at a way higher level but i think at the shooting guard position i think a sar thompson is a little bit better just because a sar does give you a little bit more offense but ak still six foot nine at that shooting guard position seven foot wingspan one of the best shooting guard defenders in the game pretty much perfect stats badges and also tendencies can't really improve too much there with ak and then he still got a decent jump shot and very solid dribble six but then to round out the top five by now shooting guards i do think is a toss-up between a ton, uh, ton of different shooting guards i'm gonna go rudy gay though i think he's so good at the shooting guard position with his player model and his size and does have a very easy jump shot to green now to go on to the top five best by now small forwards at the number one spot i think you gotta go kevin garnett i mean the card is still amazing for his price He's about 65, 70, 75K, 6 foot 11 at small forward, 7 foot 2 wingspan. His defense is top tier. He's got amazing Hall of Fame badges, only missing Challenger and Menace on Hoff. His tendencies could be a lot better, but still decent. And then also does have a great jump shot and really good dribble sigs for more of like a defensive card. He can still knock down threes, still play make and create his own shot when he needs to, but mainly going to be on the court to play elite level defense. For the number two spot, I'm also going to include AK in this ranking as well because i think ak is still a top tier small forward you know for his price tag only about 20k and still gives you that elite level defense at the number three spot though i think is a really close debate between karma Lone and jairus walker i think they're very similar cards i mean both going to be six foot eight or six foot nine very similar when it comes to, like the player model the height the wingspan all that type of stuff I would say Jairus Walker maybe a little bit better offensively and Carmelo a little bit better defensively but I mean Jairus Walker is such a good defender like he's only missing one Hall of Fame defensive badge his tendencies are really good you know all going to be at a 95 for the defensive tendencies he's got a good jump shot I don't know I think Jairus Walker might be better I think it's so close and they're very cheap cards as well so both going to be amazing for their price tag and then for that number uh, five spot I don't really know who to put because it's really between Big Z and Jonathan Isaac. I'm going to go Big Z, but I don't know, man. Like, Jonathan Isaac is still such a good small forward as well. So let me know who you, who, who you guys will put. Would you guys throw Jonathan Isaac in there? Would you guys maybe get rid of Jairus Walker or Big Z or somebody like that? Let me know down below. But these are going to be my top five best buy now small forwards. At the number four spot is... At the number four spot. Now going on to the top five buy now power forwards at the number one spot is going to be the next Victor Wampanyama. This card is so amazing. I'm uh, so amazing for his price. I will say though, very close debate between Taco and Victor. The reason why I have Victor over Taco is just because of his jump shot is a little bit more speed, a little bit better stats all around. He's got a way better jump shot than Taco. We can actually dribble like he's got some pretty decent dribble sigs with the Damar size up the Kobe escapes so that's another reason why I like Victor over Taco but very similar cards but yeah Victor seven foot five at the power four position eight foot wingspan still one of the best player models in the game really good defensive tendencies but Taco is still for sure up there I mean it's a really close debate and yeah you got Taco Fall who's seven foot six at the power four position eight foot two wingspan still one of the better player models in the game great size great paint defender and can still match the opponents like crazy and then at the number three spot to give us a little bit more shooting like if you want more shooting for a buy now power forward i think chris Dobbs is probably the best stretch for for a buy now price in the game at that power four position i mean this card still has a really good jump shot he's seven foot three at power forward seven foot six wingspan but he's still gonna have that decent size where he can knock down threes consistently, but also be a great defender. And yeah, Kristaps just a top tier power forward in the game. And then for the next two spots, I think they're going to be very similar power forward cards, at least for their level of skill. We got D-Rob at four, and then we do have Dirk at number five. So Dirk's a really good offensive power forward, one of the fastest power forward jump shots in the game, and a really good offensive four. And then you got D-Rob, who's more about like defense, having that really good player model size, and still a capable jump shot. But in my opinion, guys, these are going to be the top five best buy now power forwards. Now to go on to the top five buy now centers in the game. I think number one is going to be Yao Ming. I mean, his Galaxy Simple card is still so amazing. The fact that this card's under 100k is kind of ridiculous because he's still seven foot six with a seven foot nine wingspan. One of the better player models in the game. 
still very good defense. He's quick enough on the court, has a capable jump shot. I mean, if you guys have been playing my team this year, you'll know all about this Galaxy Bull Yao Ming card. For number two is going to be Victor Webinyama, a card that is still amazing at the center position because of his size, his player models, height, and his wingspan. And then for the next two spots are going to be very similar by now centers. I got Mark Eden at number three, and then I do have Ralph Sampson at number four. Very similar giant center cards where they're both going to give you elite level interior defense, and that's going to be the main reason why they're on your courts. And then for that last fifth and final spot i'll just throw our, our arvidas a bonus just because he's seven foot three with a seven foot six wingspan and is still going to have that size to match up against these other tall centers and giants in the game so yeah guys that's going to be my top five buy now cards at each position so these are going to be my top five best buy now point guards top five best buy now shooting guards small forwards power forwards and centers as well but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are changing about my top fives and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace